Hey you guys, it's Anne Marie. Happy 11 1 portal. <laughs> I don't care. It's a little chilly out. I am here with my ancestors. I have, can you see it? I can't tell. I have a new moon black candle here. Um, actually, this candle represents the new moon. I got it at the Magical Druid. And I've been waiting for the new moon. And I have an, um, I'm not going to show you, but I have a huge, amazing offering mix um, that I've given to my ancestors. I was going to go see Ra today. Um, and that was my plan all morning. And then when I was getting ready to leave the house, Spirit said, no, you need to go see your ancestors. It, it, you got, it, there's some stuff that needs to go down right now. And I was like, okay. So we're here. The candle kind of keeps going out because it's windy. It's kind of an overcast day here. Um, so I'm sitting with my ancestors burning this, um, new moon candle. And I've been having a conversation um, with my ancestors and I wanted to share something with you and maybe helpful it may not be and that's okay if it's not it's like, This is irritating me because the hat is I got on the TikTok shop No, I'm not gonna attach the link in the bio and try to sell you shit um, I've bought a lot of stuff from TikTok and I never I, I never do like the I'm never trying to sell nothing because I <laughs> We're here to do well, I'm here to do videos um, But anyway, um, but it doesn't stay down, but I got this one and another one, but we'll see what happens Anyway, so I wanted to talk about, I don't even know how to uh, start off this conversation. It was a, this message that I've been getting and um, was guided to share. You know, when there's a lot of stress in your life or anxiety um, and you're just really frustrated about something right oftentimes it's because there's two opposing things that are happening at the same time and an example would be uh this is a i guess i always say it like a little silly example but an example would be um you are stuck in rush hour traffic which is frustrating you because you're trying to get to your destination and you really want to get to your destination. So there's two opposing things happening. You're in a relationship with someone who you don't feel seen or heard, um, but you love them, so you stay. So there's an emotion attached to it, emotion attached to the action that you want to be doing versus what you're currently doing, right? So the basis of it is that there's two opposing things happening at the same time, right? And so... What needs to be looked at is one, recognizing when there's two opposing things happening. I really don't want to be living in this situation, but because of the circumstances around me, I can't get out of it. And so I'm stressed out or I'm at a job that makes me a lot of money, but I'm really not walking my path, but I got to do it. And so there's stress or anxiety or a lot of emotions built around whatever the situation is that you don't want to be in, right? Is this making sense? So I'll make sure I explain that part really well. And so the, the key is to first recognize what those two opposing things are. It's usually, you know, something you really want and not being able to do it or be there or experience it um, because of whatever barriers in front of you, right? So once we're able to recognize, what are these two opposing forces right now? Why am I feeling stressed out right now? Well, I'm sitting in traffic and I really need to get to this destination. I don't want to be late. And so it's important for us to be able to recognize what those things are. Okay. And that's what creates a lot of stress and disharmony in our lives when there's opposing things happening at the same time. Right. And so... Once we're able to look at, okay, what are these two opposing forces right now? What are these two opposite things that are happening at the same time that's creating the stress and anxiety? I'm in a job I don't want to be at. I'm in a relationship I don't want to be at. Or I'm in a situation I don't want to be in. Or whatever it is, right? And then after we see that, we then have to recognize that one of the things has to give. Either our emotions attached to the situation or how we perceive the situation. Yeah, I'm stuck in traffic right now and I'm really frustrated and I need to get to work. So what do we need to let go of? We need to let go of the frustration. You need, obviously, you need to get to work. Is that making sense? 
And this is oftentimes why there's so, dis so much disharmony or discontent or disconnection in our life or frustration is because two things are occurring at the same time. There's one thing we want, and then there's the feeling of emotion not being able to get it. This isn't really necessary materialistically. This is just, you know, that push and pull of certain things in our life where, you know, um, we can't get or have or be in a place or in a space in our life that we want to be because of whatever circumstances we're in, right? Which happens all the time. And this creates a, a, a disharmony in our life, like, I often talk about, you know, two things can be possible at the same time, which is true. This is a different concept. It's kind of like when people say, you know, that they are good um, multitaskers. When you really dig down and go deep in the hole of multitasking, that's not necessarily a thing because our brain, we can only focus on one thing at a time to get it done efficiently. You can't drive down the freeway and also be going the opposite way at the same time. <laughs> That's not a good example. Um, you can't be focusing on this project while you're also d answering the phone. You have to stop that project to pick up the phone and answer it. Does that make sense? So it's understanding that sometimes when we are multitasking the barriers in our life, Something needs to be released and let go of so that that stress and anxiety is no longer there. I'm sure there's a better way I can say all this. And I don't plan it out. <laughs> and oftentimes when I watch my videos on replay, I'm like, oh, I missed the important piece. So I'm sure this will be no different. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I should have gave that example instead. Um, but it is what it is. It's the concept of it. It's so it's looking at... <laughs> what are the two opposing things that are happening right now? I'm really frustrated that I can't obtain A, B, and C because I have to do A, B, and C. How can I change the way I feel about what I can't do or what I'm not able to do right now? What am I supposed to learn in this lesson right now or in this present moment right now? What do I need to release and let go of? What emotion, what attachment to the situation do I need to let go of right now so I can move forward? Being frustrated and agitated while stuck in traffic isn't going to get you to your destination any quicker. It's going to take your energy and create more frustration like a domino effect, right? You, then you, get, you finally get to your destination and then you're frustrated because you're 10 or 15 minutes late and then you're rushing around. And I've posted something previously about the importance of not rushing. And a lot of people may not recognize this, but that is a big trigger for empaths. And I believe everybody is an empath. I don't think none of us are special. I think, especially if you've had a traumatic uh, childhood and you've had a lot of trauma in your life and a lot of chaos, you're an empath because you've learned how to manage the energies around you and you became very observant and almost like walking on glass it was as, as I see it. And so you develop these amazing abilities as an empath, right? And to pick up on certain things because you watch how people move. And But anyway... So, as I was saying, sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Uh, my candles burned all the way down to the ground, so it's amazing. Make sure I don't catch something on fire. Um, so, as being an empath, you know, rushing around, trying to do too many things at once is a big trigger for us. We trigger our own system by always rushing around, thinking that it's called multitasking. And it's really not because our brain can't. So, I know it's a little bit of a long road side note there. Um, but the biggest thing is recognizing that when we become very frustrated or stressed out in our life or there's depression, it's, it's, all, it's nine times out of ten, it's because there's two opposing forces at play there. And we need to be able to recognize what those two opposing or multiple opposing forces. And it's usually because we feel restricted or we feel constrained or we feel as we're not able to do something or live our purpose or walk our path or, you know, have the freedoms or whatever it is in our life. And so it's always two... Um, separate things and so by being able to recognize that I'm telling you it really does wonders because you can say okay what two opposing forces are at play here what do I need to release so I can move through this energy at least for this moment your mental health is so important especially when you're on this journey especially recognizing how the energy around you can affect your moods and not allowing it 
So always kind of check yourself. What are the opposing forces that are going on right now in my life that's creating this disharmony, this disconnect, discontent? And how can I manage this? How can I release this emotion or release the outcome or the need of this outcome?